Rosenhaus and I'm a pastry chef living in New York City. I'm here for eHow.com to show you how to make sautéed apples on top of some vanilla ice cream. I'm going to get started. I have really great honey crisp apples. You can use any kind you like, whether that's green apples, pink lady are really fun. And all I'm doing is coming in with my peeler and just making sure I get all of the skin off. You don't technically have to do this if you love the skin on your apples. I'm gonna go in with a paring knife and just go around the sides. And all I'm gonna do is do nice slices. So just run in and watch your fingers. You could see they're about, I'd say an eighth of an inch is really great. So that's the perfect size, nice and thin. And the thinner your apples are, the quicker they will cook. So if you're looking for kind of chunkier apples, keep that in mind when we're sauteing them. In the meantime, I'm gonna start heating up my pan. I have a nice big pan working. A medium heat, and I have a little bit of butter. This is just unsalted butter going in. It's a lot of butter. For one apple, I'd say I use Say like a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. Be generous. But so I just have my sliced apples working and then all I'm gonna do is add some sugar. I have my butter, some cinnamon, you could add nutmeg, you could add pumpkin pie spice, if you like that. It's like Christmas in a bowl. So you can see my butter is melting. We wanna bring it to the point almost where it's starting to brown. What that means is if you cook butter to the point where it starts to get those little bits of brown goodness on the bottom, that's called brown butter. Um, and that's just, it adds a really nutty, kind of delicious flavor that we're looking for, especially with apples. The more caramelized and delicious you can make them, the better they'll be. So, butter boiling. I'm using raw sugar. You can use regular granulated sugar. I just like the raw because I feel like it gives a little extra depth. I'm gonna add my apples in. Make sure you kind of break them apart when you add them so they're not all in big clumps. And make sure your heat is nice and high. You wanna quick cook, you wanna cook these as quickly as possible so that they're not gonna cook through and become very mushy. You just wanna brown the outside, get the most flavor with the least time. So I'm adding just enough sugar to kind of coat my apples. I'd say about a tablespoon or two. And a little bit of cinnamon. This is just ground cinnamon. And at the end, we're gonna add a little brandy. That's just for fun. So make sure you give a little bit of a stir. And you're gonna see that sugar is gonna start to just melt and the butter is gonna get really nice and hot and the apples are just gonna brown right along the edges. And when you hear that sizzle, you know you're doing something right. So, while that's cooking, I'll show you what I have here. I just have some vanilla ice cream. You can use any bowl you like, obviously. But I got my scoops ready to go, so that way when my apples are ready, I know they're nice and hot, they're perfectly cooked, I can immediately put them on top of my ice cream for my guests and serve which is the best idea. Also, I have a little bit of crumble. You can make what's called a streusel, which is just flour, sugar, a little butter, a little salt, pop it in the oven, nice crumb topping, or you can use even granola, it's delicious. I love granola on just about anything. So, you can see my apples are just searing. That name is perfect for what it means, which is that searing sound that you hear is exactly what we're looking for. So we got them nice and bubbling. In restaurants, what's typical is people will flambe. You can flambe, we are adding brandy, you could add Grand Marnier, a little rum, anything you like. If you feel very safe, go for it. What you would do is add your alcohol off of the heat. I would take my pan, kind of remove it over so there's no risk of it flaming up and me losing my eyebrows. Um, but take it off the heat, add your liqueur, and then just tilt your pan towards the fire, and that will flambe. I'm not flambeing today, because as you can see, I'm working on an induction kind of surface, so I have no fire. 
but otherwise I would love to flambe. But today I'm just gonna add it and I'm gonna cook it enough that it's just gonna cook out the alcohol just barely, but it's still gonna give me that warmth and really good flavor that I'm looking for. So you can see my apples are just starting to caramelize. That butter and sugar are really working and coming together. And in about two seconds, I'm gonna add my brandy. This is like the perfect dessert for fall. Some really nice like fresh figs in there. Don't even get me started, it'd be delicious. You could also add, if you want to, a little bit of lemon juice, just to kind of round out the flavors and give a little bit of tang. I kind of squeeze right in. If you feel nervous about pits, sometimes I'll take my hand and just to catch any pits that could fall. This way you could see any pits are gonna stay between my fingers and the juice is gonna run down into my apples. It smells in here, intoxicating. But that is it, very quick. As soon as you could see your apples are starting to wilt, if you just take a spoon and kind of lift up your apples, you can see they're kind of getting really nice and soft. That butter and sugar is really coating the outside. You can see the little flecks of cinnamon. Really beautiful. If you want to take this a little further, you can. But otherwise, I'm going to add my brandy. Remember, whenever you're adding alcohol, make sure you're doing it away from any sort of fire, especially if you have kids running around. Not a good idea. So, a little bit of brandy. Swirl it around. You're going to see that's immediately going to start to kind of smoke and bubble up. Smell the liquor. That's it, I have my ice cream ready to go. I have my apples. If I was doing this for a big party, I would have either in individual bowls, little scoops of ice cream, or in a big giant container, kind of ready to go, and you could do this family style. But all I'm gonna do is remove my apples and just right over my ice cream. Really gorgeous. Make sure you get some of that sauce kind of all around. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just top it with my crumble. Really easy dessert, delicious, perfect for a fall day. And that's it. I'm Katie. Thank you so much for coming by. Enjoy.